Hey, and welcome to Centennial College's fourth annual comedy show. I'm Jake Mednick. Today we're bringing you such stars as Aaron Berg, John Key, Jasmine, and Brian O'Gorman. And it's hosted by the ever-charming Mark Trinidad. So if you don't like entertainment, maybe you go watch baseball, read a book, enroll at George Brown. Because entertainment are what tonight and Centennial College are all about. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Longer than two minutes, you're taking a shit and we know it. Jasmine, tell me why Centennial College students should be excited to see you perform. I have some, uh, why, it's a new crowd, so I have some, uh, some of my old material. I got some new material. Um, I, I mean, a lot of West Indian, South Asian people go to school here as well, so, which is great because that's my background, so they can relate to what I'm saying. And, uh, as uh, universal as Canada is, it is fun to do these niche uh, shows when it is a West Indian, South Indian, uh, um, or East Indian crowd. I'd go to Iraq. First thing I'd do is check out the strip clubs. Imagine a strip club in Iraq. What can Centennial College students expect from you tonight? I have some notions of what I'll do, but I don't have any idea until I get on stage what I'm going to do. I think so. I mean, the, the things that I talk about now are socially relevant themes. And I run up, and the DJ's like, yo, yo, what's your name, man? And I was like, Aaron Berg is my name. He's like, no, no, your stage name. I'm like, I don't have a stage name. He's like, you need a stage name. And I'm like, why? And he's like, so people won't know who you are. And I'm like, mother I'm not wearing a mask, man. Like, nobody's going to be like, Aaron, Aaron Berg, we went to high school together. No, no, you must have me confused with someone else, man. My name is Lamborghini. What can they expect? Well, that's a pretty broad and generic question, Jake. I, <laughs> I was named Funniest Guy with Day Job. I was very lucky to win that contest. Uh, uh, won $10,000. I was on a uh, morning radio show. I think their listening audience is like 1.5 million people. It was uh, an amazing, it was an amazing thing for my, uh, for my career. It's, uh, it's pretty bright up here. It'd be nice, actually, because I am, I am actually squinting. <laughs> F all of you. I'm gonna get on stage and then I'm gonna tell a bunch of jokes and then people are just gonna, they're just gonna roll around on the ground and start making out. Uh, uh, English audiences are some of the coolest audiences. The difference with there is that they're. Uh, it's expected that you're going to be heckled. Um, it's expected that the audience is allowed to, to yell at you and say stuff, whereas in Canada it's sort of, uh, um, you know, you're not allowed to yell at the performer. I just don't understand the, like, vegetarian argument. Like, I understand, okay, they're all locked in cages and stuff like that. That's cool. But what the f*** is a cow going to do if you let him free anyways? You know what I mean? It's not like he's going to become a scientist or something. He's a cow, you know? He's a thousand pounds of meat. He's incapable of defending himself. If he's not meant for food, what the f*** is he meant for? He's nature's mandarin, okay? What do you call it? The Brazilian wax. Yeah, imagine that person. Don't feel sorry for someone anus bleaching. That's nothing. Imagine somebody who has to pour hot wax down a person's ass. Stick something on it and then just peel it away. Feel sorry for them. That person could have had curry the night before. Stay in school. <laughs> Don't become a comedian and make hundreds of dollars for two minutes and seven minutes on stage. You don't want to do that. Just have ambition. You got to be able to laugh at yourself uh, in order for comedy to work. You know, uh, for me, the epitome of comedy is what people think and do not say. Four comedy shows, four smash hits. On behalf of Progress Campus, Centennial College, I'm Jake Mendick. <laughs>